Hello, it's TGC Requiem, and we're back for round two of the Vintage Cube Draft. Um, we won the first round 2-0 in very cube-like fashion. About to start our second round, we have the Blind Bandit, we're on the play. This is no good. Unfortunately, I don't know how to modify our decks between round. Maybe it's not something we can do. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep this in. Hope we're okay. Uh, um, burial rights. Our living death. Don't really have any way to get stuff into the graveyard. I'm going to keep this on top anyway, though. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Go to Delver. Jackson Probe. He sees a black white reanimator deck. I already see this going poorly. So we can get one out of there. I really don't. Again, we don't have any way to get creatures into our graveyard, so I pulled these out. I just don't know how we can go about. Getting those out in between rounds. waiting on our opponent here. Alright, he's gonna go get a volcanic island. Yeah, we were worried about some red there. Impulse. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom. So there's the possibility then that... We do lose enough creatures that... We can actually start to use this stuff. Alright, Grixis, yeah, with removal, maybe we can uh, get some reanimation going. Eternal Witness. Chalk that up as not valuable till I can get another green source. Problem with greedy mana bases like mine. it charm draw two discard two <clears throat> so I feel like what I'm seeing this guy is probably on some sort of combo deck I don't really know what combos are available in this cube 
As you know, Grixis is generally a good combo color, and his deck is built in that manner. Okay, so probably looking to get into like a Karn or an Ugin, maybe an Ulamog. It's gonna counter spell mana drain. So right now he has access to 8 mana, 10 mana, so if he has an Ulamog we could just be Dunzo at the moment. And on Black Lotus. <laughs> well, we know he doesn't have Emrakul, so we've got that going for us. I expect Karn or Ugin. Maybe Ulamog. Library of Alexandria. Okay. On a turn, you may have cards from your graveyard. If a card would be put into your graveyard from anywhere this turn, exile that card instead. So, possibly he's playing Storm? With what? Threads of... no, not... what's, the, what's that black card? Okay, so he's going to untap all his lands, presumably. He only has one card in hand. Sheldock requires 20 or less in somebody's grave, or in their library, which neither of us are at that point. So there's a charm draw to discard to, so now we can trigger Sheldock. Yep. Wheel of Fortune, each player discards his hand and draws seven cards. Okay. He's got to be playing Storm, right? All ritual. <laughs> so I'll time spare. Each player shuffles his or her graveyard and hand into his or her library, then draws seven cards. You and untap up to six lands. Brain 
storm. So I'm not sure if he's going to try and mill me out, or if he's going to try and drain me. Grim Monolith. I thought he already played that, but maybe he played a different... Is Man of Vault the other? Yeah, so Man of Vault's the opposite. Being of upkeep, you may pay. No, this is like the same thing. Doesn't untap. Doesn't untap. Add three, pay four. Imperial Seal, Lion's Eye Diamond. I'm not sure what his win condition is. Baleful Strix ain't gonna do it. Blood Crypt. Dark Ritual. <laughs> he's got six in hand, so now he's gonna Dark Ritual. Lion's Eye Diamond. Draw a card. He loses, right? Yay! So he milled himself out. I'll take it. Don't know if there was a sequencing issue there or what. Uh, but I'm all for it. Um, so he didn't have really many creatures. I don't think balance really helps us here. Edict is still good. I don't think animate dead's good. We didn't really pick anything up to give us a sack outlet save, Fauna Shaman. Um, so same thing with Living Death and Umbreal Rites. And in this case, do we have enough green creatures for GSC to be worthwhile? I don't think so. Maybe we'll go Wall of Blossoms in this matchup. Actually, we're going to bring in both of our beaters. So we really don't want Wall of Blossoms. That's too slow. Don't want Journey to Nowhere. Don't know how I got that in there. So target creature. I think this is the route we're going. This is protection from white and black. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are up 1-0 in this match. Uh, this doesn't seem very good. We'll mull again. Also not great, but uh, Abrupt Decay seems all right. Edict seems all right. I don't know what his win con is anyway, so we may have some time.
So we can go for Desecration Demon right now. Hope he doesn't actually have a counter spell. We didn't see a whole lot of it. I think it's kind of safe. So I like Vampiric Tutor at end step. Looks like he doesn't have a whole lot going on right now. She's next turn. We might even be able to play Iona. Alright, so we can two... White, white, now we need another white. Oh, what are we going to tutor for? We got two green, three, four, seven, no, six. We don't have enough. So we're going to destroy that, keep him off his mana. Ooh, what can we do? Oh, we could Eureka. I think Eureka would be worthwhile sticking an Iona. Turning him off of black, probably. So he probably has enough mana to go off. He's got four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Twelve. So the question is, can he actually win this time?
down to 11 max mana. Tendrils of Agony. So this is what I thought he was going to go for before. Alright, so he's copied it twice. He's hoping to do more than that later. He just doesn't have the setup, maybe? So definitely black is our color if we can stick Iona. See, I figured that's what he was trying to beat us with last game and didn't see it. Can't actually abrupt decay. I think we're probably dead here. is he just has to have something in hand that lets him go up. Okay, so now Imperial Seal, search your library for a card. So at this point, I'm pretty sure he can just tendril, uh, tendrils us again, and then it's over. Depending on his storm count. Nine spells cast before agony this turn, so that's it. So we would basically get 10 copies of Tendrils, and lose. Alright, so Corpse Stance, return top creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. Burial rights. It's possible we could try and Magus, Magus of the Moon him out to slow him down. If we wanted to go with the Green Sun Zenith. No, because Green Sun Zenith can't even hit Magus, and we don't have a way to cast Magus. It's possible Tomb Stalker is the better route. What else do we have that we can really do anything against him with? Wall of Blossoms, Journey to Nowhere, Balance. So that's not really going to be beneficial to us either. I think we do Elish Norn. And we're on the play. Looking for a better draw. This is decent. So Roll, roll Reaper into GTA. Axiom Probe, presumably.
and a vault. So the cost to equip to Plus two, two, so we got plus four. He's got a swamp now. This adds colorless, right? As long as he's off double black, we have a chance. So you can sacrifice your hand to draw a card, draw a new seven. So he's kind of chancing, I believe, that the seven he's drawing is going to be better. Oh no, he has to discard his hand. Oh. All right, so we're two and one, um, or two and zero oh, rather. And uh, match. After a one one or two one win, looks like we have one match left. Not sure how long it's going to take, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this one up, and we'll come back for the final match.